you guys, guess what? I finally got a frog. Here he is, guys. Isn't that just the cutest little face? I mean, come on. Look at that. So cute. But yeah, anyway, guys, so this is the uh, white screen tree frog, commonly known as the dumpy green tree frog because they get quite fat when they get bigger, especially the females, which what this one is, is a female. They're also known as the uh, green tree frog, common green tree frog, Australian green tree frog, whatever. They've got a few names, but yeah. I really like her. She's probably one of my favorite animals at the moment, just because, come on, look at her face. <laughs> and I mean, she's just really um, calm and easy to handle. She just sits on your hand. So yeah, she eats well. So being a frog, it's a strictly an insectivorous animal. It eats crickets and woodies, uh, mealworms, superworms, all that sort of stuff. So one thing I'm really liking also is, again, very calm nature. She doesn't jump. She can. I've seen her jump maybe once or twice, but generally these types of frogs are so laid back and chilled, you can handle them like this. They don't freak out, they don't jump. They just literally sit there on your hand and they might go for a little bit of a walk, but that's about it. So they're pretty good for handling. So this frog will eventually go into that terrarium I made, which is from my last video. It's not quite ready yet, it's just tweaking a few things with it before I put the frog in. And um, I'm gonna get more. So maybe in the next few weeks I'll be getting another one of these and I'm potentially looking at getting some red-eye tree frogs as well so that's what's to come next, a red-eye tree frog video as long as a proper video with these guys. I'll make a separate video explaining their care and their diets and all that stuff. This is just a little video pretty much updating you guys on the new animals I've gotten in the last couple of weeks. I'll go into more detail uh, about this frog specifically in my next video Anyways, I'm going to pop this uh, little girl back and I'll show you the other animals I've bought. Now, of course, for any of you who watch my videos, you'll know that the next animal I've bought is, of course, a snake. Can't help myself. And the sort of snake I have bought is this. This is a little jungle carpet. So, yeah, that's really it. No description. I just bought a little jungle carpet. Uh, it was completely spontaneous. Like, intentionally, I just wanted to buy the frog. I went to get the frog, saw this. And here we are today with this snake. <laughs> Can't help myself, can I? Yeah, I think I have a slight problem with buying snakes all the time, but what can you do? No, in all seriousness, there was in all seriousness there was some uh, reason for buying this. Because, um, as you guys know, I'd like to breed some species soon, and I want to breed jungle carpets. I've only got a male. Don't know what sex this is yet, but it's all they had. So I thought I'd, took, I'd take the gamble and buy this one. It might be a female, I don't know at the moment. I can't sex it yet, I gotta wait till it grows a bit and I'll probe sex it. Fingers crossed it's a girl. So this little baby is not at its most colorful right now. It's going into shed, hence why it's kind of looking a little pale. So I'll keep you guys updated on all that as well. When it sheds, I'll show you its new colors because I'd like to see as well. I don't know what it looks like because um, it was like this when I got it. And surprisingly enough, it's really calm for a jungle. Like when I bought it home, it was a little snappy, but yeah, after a couple of days, it just calmed right down. Like uh, it's really fine, really friendly to handle. So yeah, quite happy. All right, guys. So for the third snake that I've got, um, I'm just going to say this one was completely out of the blue. Uh, I wasn't planned at all. I'm glad I got it, but it happened literally like two days after I just bought that little jungle and the frog. And pretty much, because for those of you who know, I'm a manager at an aquarium, but I do get a lot of reptile people coming in as well that I usually chat with. So yeah, I kind of, um, sorry about the noise, my bird's here. <laughs> as you can really hear, my bird's in my room with me. Yeah, so I chat to a lot of other people that keep reptiles, and usually they want to bring me in reptiles that they don't want anymore. Sometimes I take them, sometimes I don't. It just depends what they are. And I said yes to this because I happen to need this. So I'll show you guys what I got. All right, guys, check out this absolutely gorgeous snake. This is a jungle carpet again. So now I got three jungle carpets. I wasn't planning on this, but you know, things happen. And the reason I said yes to taking her on was that right there. It's a girl and I've been after a girl for ages. So she is currently in with my male. They've paired up quite nicely. Uh, they get along fine, which is great. Um, 
So yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. She is handleable, as you can see. I mean, it is a jungle carpet, so they're very temperamental. But she's mostly handleable. She has bitten me a couple times when I first got her. I think it's just because she was stressed out from <laughs> from being moved around and stuff. Um, but yeah, look at the colours. She's got beautiful colours. She's actually much nicer even than my male. That's saying something. <laughs> she's still not the greatest with handling. I mean, she's, she's handleable, but she's not the friendliest snake I've got, I would say that much. One thing I did notice with her that my male is lacking in, which again, I really like. Um, yeah, it's her colours. If you look closely, she's pretty much yellow on black. There's no brown pigment. Well, there is, but it's like an extremely subtle. You can barely see it. It's pretty much black colouring with the yellow bands. It's really bold. My male doesn't have that feature. See, this female, what I think, is a selectively bred jungle. So, her parents possibly wouldn't have had much of the brown pigment left in them. That's how she was produced, to have mostly black and yellow and very minimal brown which is a very desirable colour amongst these pythons. And um, yeah, breeding this one with my male, hopefully she'll pass on some of those genetics to her babies in the future. Even the colours on the back of her head. Look at this, pat look at the patterning on her head, it's so nice. Way nicer than my males. All right, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get the male out, hold them together so you can see the difference between the two. So this is my male. So if I line them up together, you can see right there the difference. She's much brighter, her yellow is much more yellow. And the main one that makes the colours look so different, because look, my male is due to shed soon, that's why he's looking not the nicest. He is normally almost as yellow as the female, but yeah, he's on the pale side because he's due to shed. But the main thing that differs these two is the brown. If I can hold him still, I'll show you. Right here. The brown on top of the black that he's got. The female doesn't really have that. And that's what happens, like, when you can breed these things to not have that brown colouring, and it's just yellow and black, they look so much more bold in colour than if they do have the brown like the male does. <laughs> I'm getting a little tied up now. I'm um, just trying to keep an eye on both of their heads. Oh god. <laughs> I'm going to have to use the camera to see what I'm doing here, guys. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to pop the male back because she's aggravating the female right now. He's aggravating the female, I mean. Okay, I'll be back in one second. Okay, I got the male back and as you can see, she's now calm again. He was just getting in the way. It was kind of interesting holding them both, but... He's just spazzing out in the tank now. I guess he didn't like being moved. But yeah, so I got this snake as a gift pretty much. Uh, his previous owners couldn't look after it anymore and they, I offered to take it off their hands. They're quite happy to give it to me. And honestly, it happens a lot with reptiles where uh, people can't take care of them anymore and they need a home for them. And I'm always happy to take most reptiles, provided I have the room for them, I suppose, because I'm getting a bit full now. But um, I found it to be very common with things like jungle carpets. They're very, um, they're kind of a trap for a lot of new people because they don't get as massive as some of your bigger pythons. So that's kind of an appealing thing. They've got absolutely beautiful colours. That's a very appealing thing. So people go, oh, it doesn't get too massive. It's a beautiful colour. I like this snake, I'm gonna get it. But then they get it home, it's their first snake. They've never had a reptile before, or a snake before at the least. And um, jungle carpets don't have the nicest temperament most of the time. They are very snappy. They don't like being handled. They don't like being touched. So honestly, if you want to go for a snake and it's your first time keeping a snake, I would recommend not getting a jungle carpet in spite of how pretty they are. Same as jungle jags, they're even nicer looking. Don't get one if you're new to snakes because yes they don't get as big and they're pretty but they've got a horrible personality most of the time. Not saying that they cannot, they cannot be tamed, I'm holding this one, my jag is still quite snappy, but, but they can be tamed. But most people who've never kept a snake before don't have the patience or experience to tame a snake that's trying to bite them all the time. It's all new to them. So, 
Ideally, you want to start with something that's just naturally tame and placid from the start. So, for my recommendations, for a beginner, I would go for... Woo! <laughs> See what I mean? She tries to run sometimes. Uh, her previous owner told me this. She'll just randomly just try and drop to the floor. So, you got to always keep a hold on her. Um, yeah, recommendations. I would recommend anyone going for a snake for the first time. Something like uh, maybe a diamond python or a Darwin carpet python. They're pretty good. Black-headed pythons and womers are great. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't go for a jungle carpet. Even coastal carpets can be a little on the snappy side when they're smaller. So, I mean, this is this varies a lot from the individual animal too. But generally, a lot of your more colourful carpet species, your jags, your jungles, they're more snappy. That being said, snappiness doesn't bother me, so I don't really care about her personality, and she's not too bad. Alright guys, I'm popping this girl back. She's getting a bit frustrated with me now. Anyways, I'm out of you guys. Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe. Give us a follow if you want to. On my Instagram. <laughs> you know, I meant to say that. I didn't. Alright, I'm going to rephrase. Leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Links will be down below. I will see you guys next video. Bye-bye.